What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Vito coming at you with how to clean up your samples and vocals. So what I'll be showing you guys is this sample that I got from Splice, unfinished, uncut. Um, I'm going to show you the unfinished and then the finished version. Um, the unfinished has clicks, pops, stuff like that. I think due to growth speed, um, cause you can kind of tell when growth speed is being used and when half time is being used in reverse because it's got that sometimes it's got those clicks sometimes it's got those pops and um this sample kind of has a little bit too much and it's a little bit too apparent so we're going to be getting those clicks and, and pops out of there um so let me just show you guys the unfinished sample first So that's very apparent. Um, it's pretty brutal, especially if you are playing this beat on loud speakers or something like that. The pops and the clicks are really going to stand out and they might hurt your, your instruments slash your ears. So this is what I ended up with. So as you can tell, really clean, really clear of all those um, clicks, pops, all those things. So let's just go into double click on your sample here. Double click on the sample that you want to edit or the vocals that you want to edit. And you want to go to click, right click, go to edit here, and then your Edison is going to pop up. Um, and this is all in FL Studio, so I'm sure you have your own... Um, plug in to get rid of noise and to find that those clicks and stuff like that to get rid of those unwanted frequencies. So just a quick side note, if you have a vocal track and you want to get rid of the air or the noise in your background, say you have a really crappy mic or something like that and there's too much air, there's, it's not a crisp sound like when you get nice and close you can get it nice and crisp and clear. Um, you want to do the same thing that I'm doing here. So you want to highlight your area. Say you're dealing with vocals with a lot of air. You want to highlight your air and you want to acquire the noise profile for the air. So grab the air by acquiring the noise profile. Say that's say that section there is air and the rest is this vocals here. And then you want to select your whole sample, all your vocals. And then you want to click it again and then go to accept and make sure that the amount is not too high and the threshold is not too high because um, it'll take away from the vocals. Maybe you took away a lot of the noise, but at the same time, your vocals are now muddy or um, just not clean, warped. Remember to you know, just to mess with this knob here. And you can you can acquire the noise profile or whoops, I, I meant to click accept. I'll just do it anyway. And you can just press accept and just change your whole thing up and just listen to it again. And if you don't like it, just you can just undo it. So it's it's all on the undo on the undo nab. So I can go control alt Z and then go right back to to the clicks. So control Z, maybe I, maybe I didn't like the way it sounded. Maybe I um, cleaned it up, denoised it too much and it took away some of the vocals and maybe the sample is warped or something like that. Um, as is much the case when the amount is all the way up here, we'll go to accept. It's gonna go all the way down 
and then now your sample is reduced to this you know there's no meat on that on the, on those bones it's just bones so control alt z you want to undo that maybe you don't like that you want to undo that go back to the clicks and restart all over again so you can kind of see the clicks here so i'm just going to go control z to undo this redo that and it looks like some of the clicks are out so what you want to do next is you want to send this audio clip to playlist and i got and it shows it right up here so let's listen to the click one again and then let's listen to the one that we just made and we'll see the difference Awesome. No clicks, no pops, no nothing crazy. Um, it is, however, a little tiny bit warped. So what you're going to do is you're going to do what I was saying earlier. You're going to go back to it and you're just going to keep messing with the amount and the um, just acquire that noise profile and then have it hovered and then mess with the amount lay I don't it seemed too warped at you know it shows the percentage in the top left is at 9% go down to 5 try it again control alt z redo it again until it's not warped um, until it sounds like the one you want which is this one right here so no pops no cracks no warped um, the sample is is meaty it's still there it's not just reduced to nothing um because you can take out the clicks and the pops but if it's reduced to nothing then you you've got nothing you're you're back to square one so that's basically it for this video um just wanted to go over a quick tutorial very helpful to me when i learned how to do all this stuff so i uh, just figured it'd be useful to you guys uh you producers as well so that is how you take clicks and pops out of er, and air out of vocals and samples so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it remember to hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave a comment in the comment section below on any questions that you might have or any suggestions of a video that i should do i'm working on this beat right now that i'll play for you guys um, right after this but thank you guys for watching and you have a good rest of your day peace Thank you.